very own reading corner. Today I'm reading a book. What is that? A book about question marks. Let's also even read this right part. Punctuation marks help us understand writing. A question mark at the end of a sentence shows when someone asks a question. What will Tyson, Jane, and Paul do after school today? Okay, so let's head on to the book now. At lunchtime, Paul hands Jane and Tyson a note. Let me know your answer after lunch, says Paul. What does he want an answer to? Question mark? Asks Jane. I don't see a question in his no. After lunch, Jane asks Paul, Did you mean to ask us to play after school? A question mark. Yes, I forgot the question mark. Let me rewrite it. The question mark. Says Paul. This is what it says on the note. Can you and Tyson play after school? Question mark. After school, Jane and Paul pile up snow, and they're probably like I think making like a snow pile. What is that? Asks Tyson. A snowman. Says Jane. Where is its head? Question mark, asks Tyson. And where's is its nose? Asks Tyson. We don't have a carrot, Paul. Will you hand me those rocks? Question mark, asks Jane. Paul lies down and swipes his arms and legs across the snow. What are you doing? Question mark, Tyson asks. I'm making a snow angel, says Paul. Can you both make one? Question mark. Next, Tyson builds a round fort with blocks of snow. You guys probably know what he's making. An igloo. Now, what is that? Paul asks. It's an igloo, says Tyson. Guys, comment down below if you got that right. Do you want to come inside? Maybe. Remember to use a question mark. To show when someone is asking a question. What is that? To show when someone asks for something. Will you hand me the rocks? Asks Jane. So whenever we're asking a question to someone, don't forget to end it with a question mark. Otherwise, it's not a question, and people will not know if they have to give an answer. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe. If you have more of these book reading videos, please smash that subscribe button and the like button. Bye!